read the words at the very top. I just realize I can. Yeah, it, it's it's better. I can. The the uh, same glasses I always wear and everything, but the words are are plain and not fuzzy like they were. It's much better like that. And uh, yeah, I can read everything a lot better just by. I never thought about that, but just by being raised up a little bit, I can read everything better. Okay. I may sit in it tonight for a while, and I was about to just say, no, I don't like it, but it's not a bad configuration for my, uh, the ergonomics of it. Uh, it's just hard, and the seat is short. I'm used to my legs being supported much further out, like four to six more inches of seat, and, uh, I don't really need to see any more videos, per se. Let's just go to Walmart again. Yeah, I'm kind of high for typing. I just realized that. And like I said, off to the... I'm not centered on my home keys at all. I'm way to the left. I can't stand that. I can't move the keyboard over because it... I, I can't have it sticking out, hanging off of the tray. I'll knock... I'll always forget I'll shove that in and knock it off in my lap so uh i was thinking i might be able to go to that page they've changed the walmart thing i noticed you know used to the things you had bought you could just click uh you could click on the item or on the description it would take you back to the page where you bought it it's not doing anything now it's just the information so uh that's kind of sucky. It says, uh, yeah, Nova Shion, N-O-V-A-S-H-I-O-N, shipped by Nova Shion, so that's who's selling it. Yeah. Oh, I'm wrong. I just hadn't, uh, there's a drop-down arrow, and that, that does have a link. So yeah, it's called a gaming chair, and, uh, was 89 where is it went away again 89.99 is what i paid for it it's gone back up to 92.99 but uh oh it says sold by nova shion no now n o l n o w o r n e v e r now or never ink okay you know a lot of these things are uh you know chinese words spelled in with english letters in there hard to read but that's actually now or never ink it's one of those things that they used to like to do well, i guess they still like to do it a lot of you know people are always doing that kind of stuff back in the early 2000s but anyway, oh yeah, it says it'll go uh, 90 degrees to 135. I think some of them said they'd go to 170, 180 degrees. So yeah, this is not the most, I remember that now. It's not the most leaning back chair of the ones I looked at. And uh, the, the foot, re retract, you know, retractable footrest, headrest pillow, lumbar cushion, which the only way it did me any good was to put them both together to so that I could actually put my head on it. And then it's, you know, because of the way the back leans back so much, even when you're sitting straight up. <coughs> but yeah, right where I'm at is about as, I mean, I guess it's about how the, I probably, I think in my, my old chair, I leaned back a little more than this, and that might be another reason why I can't read as good. I'm even lower from leaning back. <coughs> but if I lean back any more, that thing is going to hit me. Um, in the uh, looks just like the picture. That's one thing I guess you could say. Anyway, it's oh, careful. It's uh, I forgot what I was trying to say. Just talking about there we go. Whoa, 
just really went back. Oh, well, that's one of the things I wanted to test out anyway. So what if I was tired? Okay, I can lean back this much. That's pretty far back, really. Okay, and let's see. I, but that brings that... Uh, doesn't move up as much as I thought it did because it's still kind of hitting me in the same place. It's just lumbar bump is just a little too high for my torso. So if I was going to sit here, this is one of the, one of the things I thought I might would like to do with this thing. Is kick it back. I actually have another computer sitting on top of that other one because... I didn't have room to put it anywhere else, so it's it's in the way down there. I don't have all the foot room I normally have. But again, I, it's stopping my giving my feet something to go up against when I scoot back. But you see, I well, I'm looking. Well, if I lean back this far, I'm looking completely at under my glasses and at the bottom rim. So I couldn't lean back and watch TV this way. I couldn't to get the glasses <laughs> to where they're at the TV. Then they'd be on the very end of my nose. And uh, I don't, I can't see good enough to watch, even just watch shows without my glasses. They're not real glasses, they're magnifying glasses, but I was going to go get my eyes checked in, in the spring of 2020, and guess what happened? I haven't been out since. All right, so. Oh, that closes my nose up, but anyway. Yeah, okay. If it was a cushy chair, this would be pretty cool. If it wasn't hard. It does raise it on up. It it makes it kind of hurt right there, you know, because the uh, arch support is is up way up right under my shoulder blades. And like I said, in a way, it almost feels kind of good, but it also it leaves the small of your back just floating in the breeze, nothing to support it. And that me that I need I guess I have a real big arch in my back and it needs support or it hurts. And having something right there, it's just kinda like I said, if the chair was soft it might not it might feel okay, but the chair is very hard, so compared to my other one anyway. Uh if you like a super firm chair then you'd like this one, but if you like a soft chair You'd be like me, kind of. Going, eh. It's weird because that's a spot that never really gets pushed on, so it it's sort of, sort of like you know when you, well, I haven't had a massage in so many years, I don't know. But you remember one day back 20, 30 years ago when you had that last massage? Uh, yeah, those places that never get get any pressure put on them, and it kind of hurts, but it kind of feels good. And my neck, and that's the same thing with my neck. Uh, depending on that other pillow, I can spin it different ways to either put pressure on my neck or not, you know, just support my head. This one is, it's supporting my neck. My head is just kind of there, you know. My head's up over the top of it. And then actually that kind of can feel good. I don't think I could stand using the foot rest with it tilted up anymore. I think it would put too much weight on it is the thing. It'd probably break it. Okay, I'm still hunting for the right. The right spot. No, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm not leaning back far enough. That's actually fighting my legs, making them be up. Making them be up too high anyway. So. I don't know, but I mean, as far as the leg rest, it may not be any good for anybody, but uh, uh, I could, you know, it just might end up being nice for mom to have a chair in her room to where she can, you know, she can lean back, she can sit up straight, she can do whatever she wants. She doesn't mind a hard chair, I know that, because she has one in the living room. She's had for 20, at least 20 years now. It's a good chair. Uh, it's got a metal frame, and it's kind of like th this kind of seating. It's bigger, it's wider, it's longer, everything. And but the the footrest, it, the whole thing, it pivots on a circle of a thing. And uh, but the footrest is always in your way. It, you know, it's either down 
it's like about like that or it's up you know when you lean when you lean it back the whole chair does like that and uh, it's a comfortable chair uh when i first sat in i'm like oh this thing's hard i don't like it but then once you sit there well it fits all your the ergonomics of your body really well and uh, except for it has a pillow like this on it and of course for me she's she's five foot two and i'm five eleven so you know i have to uh, pull, pull it way down to get it in the right spot on my neck and uh, way up. I have to pull it way up and, the, and of course the straps, as soon as I do like that it falls because the straps are set for her, you know, and I'm not going to mess that up. But, um, yeah, in order to actually look at the TV, this is kind of about the leaning back that I would like to be able to sit here and watch TV. I don't know if it's the exact same. It feels kind of like it's about the same as my other chair. But, uh, but it just doesn't feel. Yeah, it's. It's not like a recliner. You, I, the best thing to do is to grab hold of the arms and pull them, or pull them back, or pull them forward. Not like a regular recliner where it kind of, well, you know, the one we have a big old fluffy recliner and it has a handle. You can kind of, well, you have to kind of use your weight and that handle to get it in the right place. Well, that's okay, but it's still a little. When I just really relax and lean back, then I'm still looking see one good thing about my other chair is when i get relaxed and lean back then uh, i'm sitting looking i'm not looking at the bottom of my glasses of course oh well i didn't realize how far back i was it's still that yeah but it's not it's way better than it was at first i mean i couldn't even make my head go that far back and now I, it's okay it's a it's pretty decent i think i might could still sit up just a little more straight I, don't know. I think I'm getting to the point that I'm sitting straight up. Wait, is that okay? That's kind of okay. I really don't like, uh, if I'm going to be on my home keys, then I've got way too much distance to get to the mouse over there. And my arms really don't like to be that close together. I'm used to having them more like that, more spread apart. I was thinking I would set it in a while tonight, but it's really bugging the heck out of me so it isn't the most un it's got its pluses but it's got so many more minuses from what i'm used to but it's not i mean it's what i'm used to obviously i've had the chair since 2004 the other one but um yeah i mean that's okay i really like the height uh, see, the, my other chair won't stay up. I used to always keep it up, like I said, about where this one is. That's a good height from my mouse. And the way it has been doing me, it's kind of like that, you know. I mean, I'm pretty much like that. Uh, and it gets, makes this arm start hurting, you know. It, it's, uh, it's up too high. That's about right. That's exactly how I originally used to set. only difference would be, you know, in the other chair... I, I guess I just need to uh, well the other cylinders blown out completely uh, because it was broken uh, where the mount was not made good and it and it broke it just flat broken I welded it back together but I didn't want to go to the trouble to try to get it off of this cylinder I thought to myself self so just don't heat it up too much and you knew I knew that I, that was not going to happen did it anyway and uh, blew out the seals in it. Now you might be able to get some and rebuild it. I'll bet you could if you could probably find them somewhere. But um, yeah, I have to kind of do like that, and that's not comfortable in order to center my glasses on the screen. Going back to something with a video in it doesn't make any difference there. 
So I clicked on my playlist instead of my videos. So anyway. I just thought I would start another video just to see. I never really, I opened the door. Yeah, that's just not, not, uh, <clears throat> <coughs> I know this coffee's too old and it's not really going to be good, but. All right, so it's it's uh, got some, like I said, it's okay, but I do like the pillow being held up by straps. I could figure out a way to do something like that with that one. But yeah, it feels like the longer I sit here, and the more it feels like I'm sitting on a rock. So, uh, it rolls nice, that's one thing. It, but chairs, oh gosh, that one is way narrower than my regular chair. But chairs, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know, I went blank. Let's see if we can, so there's my old chair, and there's that one. And uh, now I think I will go ahead and pull my old chair back in its place. Oh boy, all that. Shh. Yeah, okay. I was wondering where I was going to put this chair, but now I think it's going to be the opposite. But yeah, there's um, a thing you could tighten up to adjust the, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of gotten rickety because there's something, it's a, a knob you turn with a spring and, and it has broken out, the bolt that's in there has broken off of the frame. That's something I don't, it'd be really hard to fix. Okay, now here's the way I usually sit. About like this, and yeah, now, and, and since I've got my, used to, I would, there's two ways I would do this pillow like this, if I was looking at that monitor down there, which is the way I used to always be for years, I just got this, I think it was last Christmas when I got that other TV, but I have to kind of force against it to look up, so if I turn it this way, and that's good because in my head, Sometimes my neck gets real tired and weak, and, and it kind of catches my head from rolling that way or that way. So, uh, and I always pull right up to as far out as that'll go. But see, I need to be up higher. It, it, I really feel like my arm's up in the air. And uh, sometimes I'll, it will go up, but it won't. Before I know it, you know, it's already all the way back down. And you can buy the, I kept looking at the parts thinking, well, maybe I'll buy this and that. But... Every chair, I mean, the way that one was made, the base, you know, that the seat bolted onto and everything, completely different than any chair I've ever seen. Most of them are, all the other ones I've ever seen are more like this one. And the, when the original one broke, I say, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, the, the mount plate itself broke. I welded that up. And then after that, later on, the wheel, one of the wheel broke off. And, it, and instead of, uh, and when I welded it, it was already soft. Because it wasn't good, wasn't good quality, and it was already soft metal. It got really soft, so I knew it was going to break again. It was already bending again, I think. Anyway, I spent a whole day driving around looking for used chairs just to get a good base, because the old ones are good and strong. It's just the chair that'll wear out on them. And uh, I didn't want to go into a major production uh, of building a whole new base for it, so to get it to bolt on. I mean, a, a base plate to bolt underneath there. And so I ended the. I bought this chair at Staples, and uh, they had 
a chair of the same brand with the same base and everything, except for it was plastic and the other one was metal. And it was actually a little bit bigger in diameter, which was good, because this one, if you don't watch it, you can turn it over. Because it's just a, in, probably two inches less than the other one. Uh, and it's really a lot, like I said, the wheel, every one of the wheel slots are more smooth out there, just plastic. The other one was metal, and I thought it would be stronger, but they used cheap metal and just really just spot welded it together. They didn't even try to weld it. And so one of the metal's mounting points just broke off. And I just never felt like uh, getting out there and doing the work, you know, to try to fix it. I had too many other th when I did feel like do up to doing things, I had too many more important things to do, you know. So anyway, uh, originally bought the chair in 2004. I remember I looked it up recently. And... Probably after five years or something, it uh, that happened, and uh, and the ch the company that made the chair went out of business, so uh, couldn't send it back. You know, you couldn't. Well, I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna send a chair back. It costs more than it's worth to send it back. But I couldn't like try to get them to send me a new base or anything either. You know, but the parts are up there. They're out there. But the, you know, by the time you buy, if you bought a base and a cylinder. You're gonna be at uh, fifty plus dollars right there, you know. And that chair was eighty nine dollars. So I was thinking. Anyway, this is so much more comfortable. So I'm not even gonna try to sit in that. I, that's mom's chair. And I will have to. I, I'm just gonna have to either fix that base out in the garage, or uh, figure out some way to. I was thinking of, you know, like I could turn it upside down or take, the, I could take the base off of here if I need to, but uh, get the, get the thing upside down, pour some epoxy or some other, there, there's some other, let's see, LS, there's something I learned about that looked like it'd be the perfect thing. Uh, Oh, here we go. Glue. No, that's not the right one. I found out a new, basically it's a new glue that I, oh, new to me. Uh, MS, okay, not MS polymer, polymer. That's what I found. And I I saw it in a video of a guy, a, a channel. It's a German guy, and his channel is called The Post Apocalyptic Inventor. And uh, I enjoy his videos. He's one heck of an electronics guy. Uh, he he used to, I guess he doesn't do it as much, uh, but he used to, well, I, mean, I guess I'm not. Anyway, he would explain every little detail about the electronics he'd built or repaired and how they worked and why he did it this way and that way. And it, it, you have to really have your mind open to, it'll just make your eyes roll back in your head, even even when you're interested, you know, it's so much information. But, but what, he likes to rescue old tools, go to the junkyard and get tools and fix them. And... Uh, Anyway, that's where he was, uh, there we go, MS Polymer. I think he called, I thought he called it FS Polymer. Oh, MF. MF. MF Polymer. That's what I thought he was calling it, but all I could find available was MS Polymer that comes in a tube just like caulking, and that's what he had. And it, it's... It dries hard enough. It's it's somewhat flexible, he says, but it dries hard enough that uh, you need like if you have a, a, a plastic one of these drills, like you know Dewalt drill, and half the case is broken off. You could re you could fill a, you could remake that piece with it, and it would stand up, you know, to drop in the drill and stuff, you know, using actually using it. But uh, I'm looking at my links. But uh, but I, I found information on it. But uh, I found there's a ri MF risen polymer. Uh, I'm trying to see which one of these are actually the result.